glad you hear a fire sermon from JJ, the one and only Jerusha. But before then, we have a couple things we want you to know. So, number one, the Murphys, you know them. They might pop on a screen right here. The Murphys are officially on maternity leave starting tonight. So, send them some love and make sure that you are ready to welcome in and love Phoebe as a future The Dipper. And we can't wait to have them back. And we'll keep you updated with pictures and all of that as they get ready to have Phoebe join them. So, give them big loves and we won't see them for a little bit in person, but we will see them online. And speaking of in person, it is officially time to come back to our building. More about that coming soon, but for now, just know that we are back. Come to the building next Thursday, six o'clock for a courtyard. Fun time, we're gonna have a hangout, we're gonna have some games that keep us six feet apart, but having a blast still. And we're just gonna celebrate being able to be back on this corner together. So your parents were emailed all the safety stuff we're gonna do to keep you safe. So let them know that we're gonna take good care of you and we are gonna have a blast coming back to our corner. So those are the two announcements, love on the Murphys, and we'll see you next Thursday live. Be looking on your socials for more details about that and more surprises coming as we get back to being together. But just now, next week, we are in the building. And if you can't come for some reason, just know that we are still gonna stream our service on the YouTube channel. So you can check that out just like every other Thursday, and that'll be there for you. You can get in your PJs and be a part of the dip. Okay, let's get to our Living Beyond Normal and Jerusha's quarantine quote. But wait, there's more. Guess what? It is somebody's Thursday birthday today. This is me pausing for you to scream and yell. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so it's now time to figure out who it is. I'll give you a hint. It is one of the Prez brothers. Check this out to find out which one has having their Thursday birthday in quarantine. The student living beyond normal this week is Luke. Shout out to Luke for making a video of encouragement when he heard that it was something that was needed. Shout out Luke and have a good rest of your week. Hey everyone, it's good to see ya. This is Jerusha. Uh, some of you know me as JJ. And I get to bring you the message for this week's um, hashtag the diff. So I had something that happened to me a few weeks back and um, God just put some things on my heart during that time, and so I'm really excited to share that with you. So um, here we go. So um, it's really interesting how we think things in our life, things are going to go according to our plan, or things are going to happen on our own time, the way that we expect them to, or the way that we want them to. And obviously, you know, there's certain things in life that are going to happen on our timing or our schedule, right? You schedule a time to go to the mall or visit with your friends, or you have a scheduled time that you're going to have a birthday party, that kind of thing, right? But there is so much that is out of our control, right? So many of the things that happen in life are unexpected. And um, I recently uh, had my gallbladder removed. And I can tell you that that is... Um, something that I would not have scheduled for myself. Um, definitely not something that I would have just said, hey, yeah, today is the day I'm gonna get that thing out. And um, I definitely didn't wanna go to the ER um, during a pandemic, no way. Um, oh, and then to you know get a body part removed, so there was that. Something I didn't wanna do, but um, just like what has happened in our world, um, in the last few months and recently, I think that we can all agree that a lot of things are out of our control. So um, while I was laying in the hospital bed all alone after surgery, I was talking to God and um, I just truly believe that he put all these things on my heart and he just flooded my brain with with these words and I thought, okay, I, I need to share this. So um, here we go. Um, First of all, God's timing, okay? That's what it's all about. He knows what he's doing and you just have to trust him, all right? Trusting in him and then him showing up in your life um, will grow your faith, right? I can tell you numerous times 
um, how he's shown up for me and my family, whether it's been um, financially or with the timing of an event that's happened. Um, and I think about this sermon, if I hadn't gone um, to the ER because of a gallbladder attack, I wouldn't be talking this week. So I really truly believe that this was God's time, right? And um, this is what I think he wants you guys to hear. Um, the first verse is Ecclesiastes 3.1, and this is from the Good News Bible. It says, everything that happens in this world happens at the time that God chooses. This is the time, all right? This is the time for you students to be the light in this world, all right? To be the one that's going to speak life, not death. To reach out to those other human beings that are hurting, all right? To be the best that you can be while you are alive and while you are able to do that. So this is the time. God's grace. You got to lean into God's grace, all right? Grace is a free gift from God, all right? He has given us his son, Jesus. And I realize that grace is one of those churchy type words. Um, it can be really hard to understand sometimes, but I encourage you to ask God um, to show you his grace and to help you understand what accepting um, his grace means. And I think as you get older and you experience more things in your life, um, you'll begin to understand the true meaning of grace. Like, for example, <laughs> when I was a teenager, I remember my mom would you know, quote scriptures um, at me and she'd say things like, oh, God's grace is enough. And um, I just could not grasp, like, what did that mean? Like, I mean, I heard it, I'd hear it at church, I'd hear her say it, like, God's grace is enough. Like, what, what is that? And I'm sure she explained it to me, but for whatever reason, I just couldn't get it. And I remember thinking, mom, you have no idea, okay? I have a US history final that I'm trying to remember all these facts for. The boy I have a crush on doesn't even know I exist and I have a ginormous pimple on my chin. How is God's grace gonna help me with this? Like, you just don't get it. But then, as I got older and I became an adult, um, I've learned that through my journey that I need God's grace on a daily basis, okay? No joke, not gonna lie. Um, I need his forgiveness on a daily basis for my inappropriate thoughts that I have, my ungratefulness, um, my attitude towards people sometimes, you know, needs a little check, um, my lack of self-control. Um, so yeah, disclaimer, I, I need his grace every day. <laughs> um, so it's okay right now, students, if you do not fully understand his grace. Or you might be asking yourself, what does that even mean for me? What does that mean for my life? And that's okay. I just want to encourage you to just lean into him and then just accept it, right? Um, grace is something that we do not deserve, but God offers it to all of us freely, all right? And God's grace is his help to live our life successfully. Um, and it really is the strength um that we are given to overcome anything that's going to stop us from living a full life. So the verse um, for that that I have is Romans 3.24. Again, I'm using the Good News Bible, which is GNB at the end of it. But by the free gift of God's grace, all are put right with him through Jesus Christ, who sets them free. So again, ask God to show you what it means to experience his grace. Um, and the last thing I have is God's will and surrendering. Um, bottom line, you gotta surrender and give all to him. Every aspect of your life, okay? I'm talking dating, schooling, jobs, friends, finances, your future. Is this always easy? Absolutely not, all right? Um, some seasons in your life, it's gonna seem easier than other seasons. Um, but as you continue to seek God and you're continuing to seek his will and direction in your life um, and you give him all your concerns, I think it does get easier because you're going to learn, you're going to learn about him. You're going to learn about his character and you're going to learn um, 
that he does have that plan for you and he is there with you. And I also personally think that um, as we seek him, he's going to remind us to continue to put our trust in him, right? And think about it. What's our other choice? To carry every single worry or concern all on our own? That sounds absolutely miserable. Do you want to let Satan distract you and whisper in your ear that, oh, you can't do it? Or do you want him to fill you with fear? No way. Who wants that? I definitely don't. Do not allow Satan to rob you of your joy, okay? God never forces you to do anything, but, okay, God does give you choices and he will give you the courage to trust him. So when you're feeling stressed out about your future, tell God about it, talk to him about it and bring all of your concerns and cares, not just one little thing, all of them, every single one, the big ones, the small ones, okay? Bring all your cares and concerns. Do not let Satan win because he's a big loser. So don't do it. All right, next verse, Proverbs 3, 6. Remember the Lord in everything you do and he will show you the right way. I really like that. Um, so quick recap, trust in God's timing. He's got this. He knows what he's doing. He is in control and that should be very freeing for all of us. Just give it all to him. He can take it. Accept God's grace. It is a free gift. It's wonderful. Um, and we just need it. It's incredible to live under God's grace. Um, and surrender your all, surrender everything. Don't be afraid to do that. I know that, that what I just said might make you feel a little uneasy or maybe unsure. Um, maybe you're a little freaked out, but seriously, it's okay because God gave us a verse for that too. And this is one of my favorites, so I had to, I had to share this one. It's um, Isaiah 41.10, and it's, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. I absolutely love that verse. I, side note, I memorized that verse about 20 years ago because I was really battling with fear and I would literally feel fear come over me like a huge heavy blanket and it would like lay, I don't know how else to describe it, but it would literally just like kind of lay itself on me and, and I could just feel it from my head all the way to my toes and it and it would start to almost give me anxiety where it was like oh my word I'm I'm so freaked out and I would just spiral to where I couldn't even remember what I was scared about and I remember I um memorized this verse and anytime I'd start to feel fear creep up I would just start start saying that scripture do not fear for I'm with you um and I would just repeat it and repeat it until I could just feel that that peace of God come over me and just take that fear away. So, um, again, Isaiah 41 10, it's fantastic. Um, all right. So with all that being said, I hope you're still with me cause that was a little long winded. Um, discipleship challenge, Whew, almost messed that one up. Discipleship challenge. All right. I challenge all of you to recognize or look for the little things that God is doing in your life. All right, God works behind the scenes and he's He's constantly doing things in our lives. He's protecting us in different circumstances that we don't even know about, all right? So I want you to start looking for him. It could be the timing of a phone call from a friend. Maybe it's the fact that he puts a friend on your heart and you're like, you know, I think I need to call this person and you call them. Um, and that could be a little thing from God, or maybe it's a song that comes on the radio, whatever it is. I just, I want you to remember that he does show up. All right. We just need to start looking for him and we need to start seeking, seeking him in everything we do. All right. Okay. That's my, that's my deal. I'm done. It's time to go worship, have a great time with him. And I will see you again.